Hello, this is James Cook, uh, Assistant Professor of Social Science at the University of Maine at Augusta, and this video is being recorded for you, the students, in my uh, Undergraduate Social Networks course. Uh, I'm excited to say that today we're going to be playing a game, uh, and I want you to play a game for your homework. I want you to play the Kevin Bacon game. It's a game you may have heard of before, you might not have. In case you haven't heard of it before, Let's uh, talk about it in more detail. I want you to experiment with the Oracle of Bacon, and I want you to obtain three of the largest Bacon numbers that you can. Uh, I want you to describe what factors lead to those large Bacon numbers in those cases. What kind of factors am I talking about? I'm talking about patterns in social networks. What are the sources of patterns in social networks that you see? Which ones have we talked about? Uh, I want you to think about it. I want you to describe it. Uh, why are some people in the Kevin Bacon network, because this is a social network, close to one another? Why are others distant from one another? Uh, I want you to think originally about that. There's no pat answer. And I want you to uh, post your homework in the form of a word processing document on our Blackboard page, and you'll be all set. Let's do a little bit of consideration of what Kevin Bacon numbers are. What is a Bacon number? What is the Bacon game? Well, first, when we're thinking about a network, we have to think about who's included in the network and who isn't. The standard here is clear. Anybody who's been in a movie uh, is in the network uh, uh, that involves and measures uh, Bacon numbers. In that network, there are social ties. Uh, social ties are based on affiliations. Uh, in other words, this is a two-mode network which is turned into a one-mode network. You should be familiar with that from our uh, previous lecture. Particularly, let's get down to brass tacks, a Bacon number is a measurement of network distance. Uh, a Bacon number of one means if a social tie is being in a movie with that you have been in a movie with Kevin Bacon. Okay, this is really an ego network, right, where Kevin Bacon is at the center. And if people have been in a movie with Kevin Bacon, then they're at a distance of one in a network from Kevin Bacon, hence a Bacon number of one. A Bacon number of two means that you've been in a movie with someone who has been in a movie with Kevin Bacon. One intervening tie, two intervening ties. Network distance is measured in terms of intervening ties. That is a uh, Kevin Bacon number of two. If you've been in a movie with someone who's been in a movie with Kevin Bacon. Here's one person with a Bacon number of one, Aaron Sorkin. Aaron Sorkin was in the movie A Few Good Men with Kevin Bacon, not simply as the writer, but also as an actor, being actually in the movie. Uh, he played a man in a bar. An extra, granted, but nevertheless directly tied to Kevin Bacon through the tie has been in a movie with. Uh, that's a network distance of one, one intervening tie between the two. Another example, Gina Davis has a Bacon number of two. She was in the movie A League of Their Own with David Strathairn. Um, in a movie with is a tie, a tie to David Strathairn. David Strathairn was in the movie The River Wild with Kevin Bacon. So that's two. And importantly, this is the geodesic distance, meaning it's the shortest available distance. What am I telling you here in this representation? I'm telling you, and it's true, that Gina Davis has not been in a movie with Kevin Bacon. So, network distance of two, the shortest possible distance between two people in a network, in this case is two. I want you to go to the Oracle of Bacon, and I want you to try this for yourself. It's as simple as clicking on oracleofbacon.org. You can click on, on, on that link or enter it yourself, Oracle of Bacon. And you could enter uh, the name of any actor. Let's um, type in one. Uh, somebody who has acted in a movie. Eddie Izzard. Some of you may know who that is. Others of you may not. Uh, that's an interesting social fact in itself. There's a hint. 
Oh, he has a bacon number of two. He was in a movie, The Wild, with Dominic Scott K. Dominic Scott K. was in a movie, Lover Boy, with Kevin Bacon. Who knew? I didn't know. Now I know. What I want you to do is not find Kevin Bacon numbers of two. They're a dime a dozen. Kevin Bacon numbers of one? Oh, yeah, you know, you know, that happens. I want you to find large Kevin Bacon numbers. Can you find a Kevin Bacon number? A Bacon number of three, a Bacon number of four, a Bacon number of five. Can you find larger Bacon numbers than that? I want you to spend some time doing your best to find large Bacon numbers. Then when you find those large Bacon numbers, I want you to think about the difference between people who have large Bacon numbers, and these are actors, and actors who have small Bacon numbers. What distinguishes the set of small Bacon number actors from large Bacon number actors? I want you to do your best. I want you to think originally, and I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. Uh, Thanks for your attention to this uh, homework, and uh, I suppose I'll see them soon.